What do you know about MRSA, which known as methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus? This strain of bacteria, which is resistant to many antibiotics, has been a growing concern in healthcare settings due to its increasing difficulty to treat. MRSA is a resistant strain of Staphylococcus aureus, which is a very common bacterium. The virulence of Staphylococcus aureus, combined with its ability to produce toxins and enzymes, can lead to serious infections, making it a formidable opponent in the fight against bacterial diseases. MRSA achieves high-level resistance to methicillin and other beta-lactam antibiotics through acquisition and expression of the MECA gene. This gene encodes penicillin-binding protein 2, which involved in assembly of the peptidog lichen component of the bacterial cell wall. The Messier gene produced by MRSA cause target modification that alter the penicillin binding protein leading to impairment to all beta-lactam drugs. It's important to note that methicillin resistance doesn't stop at methicillin only. It encompasses resistance to all beta-lactam drugs, including penicillins, cephalosporins, and carbapenems. Please give attention that all beta-lactam drugs will be ineffective against MRSA, not only methicillin. This resistance is due to altered penicillin binding proteins in the cell wall, not beta-lactamase production, limiting treatment options, and forcing clinicians to consider alternative drug classes. Until now, ceftaroline is the only beta-lactam drug which treat MRSA ceftaroline has an activity against clinically relevant methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, because scientists have designed ceftaroline to target the modified penicillin binding protein by MRSA. Detecting methicillin resistance is a key step in combating MRSA. Phenotypic resistance to cephalexin or oxacillin in Staph aureus can indicate MRSA. Oxacillin is a reliable predictor of the presence of the Messier gene, which can be detected using PCR. Although methicillin and oxacillin can produce Messier gene and can detect MRSA, but they are not commonly used in disc diffusion test in the sensitivity plate, because they require specific conditions for storage and become less stable by time. Sofoxetin is the best antibiotic that can express MECA and detect MRSA, because it is more stable than oxacillin and methicillin. Altered penicillin binding proteins can also be identified using a latex agglutination assay, aiding in prescribing decisions for treating MRSA infections. Preventive measures are crucial in the fight against MRSA. Practicing good hand and body hygiene, keeping wounds clean and covered, avoiding sharing personal items, and seeking medical attention for infections are all essential steps. Responsible use of antibiotics and following medical instructions are paramount. Output Thanks for watching. Kindly like and subscribe to the channel.